Hi, uh, this is Noah Vodder at the Pirate Ship. Today I'm going to teach you how to fix a Dremel tool. Uh, if you have a Dremel tool, you know how extremely useful it is. Um, and it's pretty sad when it finally breaks. If yours does something like this, you flip the switch. And even though you hear the motor spinning, the shaft isn't turning. Well, it turns out it's actually pretty darn easy to fix. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through some of the steps here. Okay, first thing you definitely want to do is, anybody, anybody, unplug it. Yep, go ahead, verify it's unplugged, because we're going to open it up and it's going to be uh, potentially hazardous. So um, first you want to take the thing off the end, so we're going to engage the shaft lock, spin it all the way off, Oops. put that aside where it won't roll away. Uh, now this top part here, this actually just screws right off too, that plastic bit. And now there are six screws that you have to do, uh, undo. They're, they use this star-shaped Torx driver here, so make sure you go out and get a Torx driver. You won't be able to use a, uh, a, uh, a flathead or a Phillips head screwdriver. Now for the sake of time in this video, I've already removed those. So now you can just pop off the top, and you can uh, kind of see what's wrong already. Okay, here's where the power comes in. This is the motor. That's the little cooling fan, and this is a drive shaft, right? This is the other half where the tool goes. Notice how they both have these ridges on there. When I opened up mine, uh, what I found was there's a little piece here, this little coupling, okay? And this is just a piece of rubber, and if you look close, you can see this one's in pretty bad shape. It's chewed through, it's yellow, it's cracked, the teeth are messed up, etc., etc. Well, normally this goes here to connect the motor with the drive shaft. And you might be wondering, why just have the motor connected directly, why not just have the motor connected directly to the drive shaft? Well, this piece of coupling actually gives you some protection. Say you're drilling something that's too rough, you know, you're trying to drill some steel or maybe you're drilling something soft. Uh, what, you, what this does is it, it acts like a, a fuse. It's the part that wears out first. Uh, so it actually protects the motor from overheating and fire and, and wearing out by wearing out this little shaft coupler instead. And the good news is, it seems like the Dremel company is actually the kind of company that wants you to keep fixing and using their products. They don't want you to buy the competitors, etc, etc, etc. The reason I believe that is because I just gave them a call, I found their number on the web, and I said, hi, I'm missing a piece for my Dremel tool. And the lady said, is it the flexible coupling between the motor and the shaft? I said, how did you know? She said, that's always the part that goes. So I went ahead and I ordered them, ordered one from her. Uh, it turns out it costs less than $2. I think the shipping was $2.50. So I went ahead and I ordered three of these just, you know, for the un unforeseeable future. So now I'm going to um, take, you can see this is the new coupling here. You got the yellowed one, and then you got the, the nice new clear one. Uh, so what I'm just going to do here, and I haven't done this before, this is the first time I'm, I'm doing this live, but I have a pretty good feeling it's going to work. I slide, slide that over there, now I get the old shaft coupler, or the, the shaft, and I put it in there, make sure all the bell bearings are lined up, and when you turn this you can see the motor, motor turning, okay, it looks good. Now let's just uh, realign the power plug a little bit pop the back on there. Now before I put it together, I'm just going to make sure, uh, before I screw it all together, I'm just going to make sure it works. So at this point it's safe to plug in. So make sure the switch is set to off. Plug it in. All right, you ready? Ready? Uh-huh, yep. I can see and feel that the, uh, the actual shaft is spinning. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to screw this back together and everything. Uh, go ahead and, and, and do the same if you have a Dremel tool that needs to be repaired and definitely support this company. They're really cool. I mean, I, when I ordered this, this, uh, this shaft coupler, not only did they send me, uh, you know, some marketing material, but they also sent like a little survey here. You can see it's pre-stamped and they even sent me a pen to fill it out. I think that's really cool. So support them uh, for, because they support the DIY movement. 